Hey Sneak Peekers, I'm Sofia Trevino and today I'm at the stateside for South by Southwest covering Corabora. Um, I know you're known for like, your role in hats, so is there like, a difference acting in TV shows versus a movie, like getting into character? Um, I think that you get to see more of the character and if you're look, working on a movie, especially if you're like one of the leads, I think you get to dive in more in their story. But also, TV is really fun because you get to know them throughout the years, where it's like a movie is like, you know, you get it done in a couple months. Um, but I think you get to go a little deeper with the movie at first, but both are really, really fun. Yeah. <laughs> and I know it's like your first leading role, so how are you feeling like with the two leads coming up? I, feel, I mean, right now. I feel really excited, and it's really exciting being here in Texas. <laughs> and we're just really proud of it, so we're really excited to watch with other people and see their reaction. And it's really special, and it's probably like one of the most earnest things I've done, so it's exciting to see what happens. Yeah, and do you see yourself in, in Quora in any way to make her? Um, I think we both feel everything really intense and deeply, but I think I'm a little less chaotic, and I think through my actions a little more before I cause a ruckus. <laughs> yeah. And what do you think is the importance of like queer characters being played by queer actresses? Um, I think it's important because I think it's helpful to play a queer character if you are just because you've lived that experience. So it's, I think you relate in a different way to the character, whereas you know, a straight person can play a queer character and do a really great job, but they there's still some separation of how much they'd be able to relate to the character, I guess. But I, it's not to say they wouldn't do an amazing job. And how come you drift more towards comedic roles when it comes to acting? I feel like, truly, I know this is a, like, uh, seems like an obvious answer, but comedies just are more fun. Like, they're just more fun to shoot. Yeah. But I do love dramas, and I love, I want to do more drama in the upcoming years, but it's just, like, I love improv, and I love just being with a bunch of friends doing a bunch of crazy uh -huh. stuff, you know I mean? So, what's, like, your favorite on-set memory? For Bora Bora? Yeah. Mm. I don't know that I have one memory. The whole thing just kind of felt like a big yeah. super blur. Like we were all just like laughing and dancing and eating the whole time. That sounds so fun. And then we made a movie at some point, so I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know how that yeah. happened. Do you have like since you're college students, do you have any advice for like people in college and just like trying to go through the film industry? I just, I mean, I know everybody says this, but like make stuff, make your own stuff, and like don't be like especially as women, you know, you can be self-conscious about are my ideas good or whatever. But like, yeah, they are like. There's so many bad ideas that people make for millions and millions of dollars. Like, your ideas are good, I promise. And also, it just takes like a decade and just know that and like trust that it's gonna take a while. I was a broadcast journalism major as well. Oh, really? Yeah, so I know this grind. <laughs> it was so hard. Um, I don't know why I didn't get into it. I don't know. It just wasn't in the cars for me. I went abroad right after college. When I got back, nobody was hiring me, so I had to just take the first job I had to get. And then it just, but I had an incredible time doing it. Yeah, yeah. You guys must be really good. Y'all look like y'all got it together. I was real uh, ring, ringy day. <laughs> um, when did you realize that like maybe journalism wasn't for you and you wanted to go into acting? Well, you know, to be honest, I always knew I wanted to act. Mm -hmm. um, and I chose journalism because it sounded better <laughs> to my parents. Yeah. <laughs> because when I said acting, people were like, okay, you know, stay in the books. <laughs> and when I said broadcast journalism, people were like, oh, because I'm, I'm from a small town and everybody knows the local news anchor. Like, they're like a local celebrity. So to them, they said I was amazing. You know? So I. I chose broadcast journalism, but ultimately I knew I wanted to become characters um, and, and, and do it a different way. Yeah, and do you have any advice for like going after your dreams, like instead of just like a career you think you were supposed to do instead of what you want to? Um, absolutely. Like you have to be brave. Um, you have to have a little okayness with discomfort because any transition like that is going to be tough sometimes. It doesn't have to be. Let me not put my situation on you or anybody else. Um, however, I think that unlike, it depends on whatever you're trying to pursue. You know, if there's a clear plan to how to get to your goal, like how to become a dentist, like, oh, I take these tests, I pass these, great, you know, and I get this. But something in the arts with which you all are, there's really no blueprint, so you have to just be patient, you have to work hard, and you have to believe that you can attain it, and 
that you deserve it. And I think you have to treat people how you want to be treated along the journey as well because that good energy will help you fuel your train along. So, yeah. Yeah. And it's going really well for you. So. Thank you so much. With this film in particular, it was so much of a team well, effort. Yeah. You know, we had the first draft of the script and then we started working with the rest of the team. Everyone was kind of like, who she really, you know, the main character and like, what she really want. So we all kind of worked on it together. So this one in particular is actually a pretty collaborative process. I know I'm really bad with constructive criticism, so how did you get better at that? It's like working with um, Age, <laughs> like time, um, you know, and actually working with other people who were good at taking constructive criticism. You know, it is, it's always an ego thing where you're like, well, I could have thought of that myself or something. And honestly, your work's always going to be better if you put that aside. You don't want a building that was built by one architect, you know, like one person that did everything. You know, it's like it's never going to be as good and safe as when you have all these other brilliant people helping you. Yeah. Yeah. And what is the main message you want audiences to get from this movie? Oh, sorry, I was just saying. I'm oh, sorry. Um, basically, that change is possible, um, but it's not going to happen overnight. And like, if, if life is telling you that it's time to make a change, like it's okay to listen to that. And like, don't expect to wake up the next day and be a completely different person. Give yourself some space to to evolve. But like, do listen to life when it tells you like, to move on. Yeah, you're welcome. So, what, what about the script made you fall in love with it? I mean, I think Rhiannon's voice, the way she like writes character-specific comedy, was like ultimately like what makes it really jump off the page. And then there was a character to it that Hannah really fell in love with, like a person she felt like she knew. And it was, wasn't someone I'm usually attracted to. So at first, it was like, well, I don't know, like why do we like her? And then getting into conversations about it, about how we could bring it to life, like how what more depth we could give her. To like understanding her motivation. Once we got back to the script, it was like yeah. this casting is really fun. So what was it like working with them? I, it's a dream cast. I, like I, they're everyone is not only extremely talented and extremely funny, but they are some of the kindest, warmest, most giving people, and so generous. Not an ego in the room. It's really fun. Yeah. And then, do you have any advice for women in film? Yeah. Keep making things. Keep working. You know, don't apologize for doing the work that you do. Support each other. Um, and find people who like recognize your voice and who see the value in it and who want to support you because it's the, the team that you come up with are the people you stay with.